The internet is at the heart of our new interconnected globalized world, but although it provides many positive opportunities, it's also seen as a serious source of new threats. Concern about the potential impact of these threats has been expressed at the highest levels. It's now clear this cyber threat is one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. It's also clear that we're not as prepared as we should be. And cyber attacks is an excellent example because you can cause devastating effects to economy uh, and structures of a country without one single soldier crossing the border, without firing one single shot. Both the West and China have accused each other of being the source of cyber attacks, and each also claims to have been victims of these attacks. So are we in the middle of a new cyber cold war? A cold war, I'm a bit cautious to say that, but there is definitely an awful lot of distrust between both sides. China has made planning and investing in cyber capacity a priority. China has a lot of plans to, to further uh, develop a kind of independent uh, cyber capacity and somehow setting it apart from American uh, service. Although attacks so far have largely focused on financial or political targets, it's the links with the military that causes most concern. Our technological advantage is a key to America's military dominance. But our defense and military networks are under constant attack. Indeed, in today's world, acts of terror could come not only from a few extremists in suicide vests, but from a few key strokes on the computer, a weapon of mass disruption. Militarily, and in terms of security issue, it is an important element. Each side has indicated that it is concerned, that it is involved in self-protection, in defense of their own networks, their own technology infrastructure, their own information infrastructure. Uh, each side has hundreds of thousands of civil servants, military personnel involved in this. Cyber war, yeah, definitely this features uh, very, very prominently in China's military thinking. In China's military thinking, you need to catch the enemy in its uh, weakest spot. Uh, IT and Informatica are definitely uh, one of these soft spots, soft underbellies of, uh, of the American uh, armed forces. Both sides are requiring the most advanced equipment and recruiting the most skilled personnel. Even in the U.S., uh, I know one of the leading uh, information technology security experts is a self-confessed former hacker. The Chinese have invested massively in uh, cyber warfare uh, units, in, in, in new software and hardware, uh, and I think they really have uh, made uh, more progress than we expect. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the Chinese view of what's happening on the internet differs from Western standpoints. Jinghui Zhang is the Brussels bureau chief of the China Youth Daily newspaper. The Chinese government's IU members clearly announced it opposed any forms of cyber attack. It's already a law. If somebody do the cyber attack, it will be punished by the law. And China views its own internet growth far more openly than is seen in the West. I think the Chinese government always welcome and encourage the internet uh, industry development in China. So we also welcome a more open internet. And we also welcome more access to the inf information. One of the most recent and high-profile cases which focused on the internet in China came following Google's threat to quit the country after Gmail accounts of human rights activists were reportedly hacked into. For the Google case, it is a specific case. The question is the Google cannot make money in China. It is a close, close to a failure during the competition with the Chinese competitors. In China, more people intend to view it as a business strategy to make it widely known in China. So after it announced its uh, possible exit strategy in China, 
in, even in some rural places. They never know what Google is. They try to find the information or website. What Google is? Why? It is doing so. So it, maybe this is a, a, a big or a good business campaign for Google in China. But despite denials from the Chinese side, Chinese watchers find it difficult to comprehend that some of these attacks happened without some involvement of the Chinese government. I really uh, do not tend to buy into this kind of argument that uh, the Chinese government is, is, is not, in, not involved. The border between governments and, and, and the corporate world or even the civil world is always very murky. For example, a lot of the um, protagonists and, and main players uh, are um, located within universities, uh, within private companies, uh, with, with, with some links with, uh, with governmental bodies. For China, the West is too quick to point out not just cyber attack threats, but also how China permits its own people to access the internet. The Western countries have the views on the Chinese government. If do something, even re regulation, or guide something for the internet, they always say, oh, you, this is the censorship. I think this is the big disagreement between China and the Western countries. But for the Chinese view, we have to do some regulation work. For example, we have stopped all those sex websites because it has a negative influence on the kids. And we also stop the websites trying to organize the terrorist actions. Although the internet benefits all of us on an everyday basis, a key gap is that there is still no international agreement for how it can be used. It may have reached the point for all concerned to put that right. Maybe one international group can focus on set up some regulations universally accepted for the internet uh, information flow. I think the time is ripe to start addressing this as a high priority defense and security issues by all sides. And that means also addressing it as almost a traditional arms control issue. Why not engage in trying to uh, develop a dialogue and develop a code of conduct or a treaty to disarm, to control this element, which I think is a high-risk element to all sides.